I told you not to bark river sheath in the yard. Now I have to shovel that. Every now and then, I convince myself that I need another knife. And that I need maybe to buy a bark river. Most of them I never use because I just don't find that I enjoy using them. Does that make sense? There's just something about them. But they're good looking knives. They're purpose driven. I used to have a handful of loveless knives. I no longer do. But I like the design. I liked his Drop Point Hunter. And it's actually Dropped Point Hunter. He didn't call it a Drop Point. Bark River has taken it upon themselves to have their Loveless inspired knives. And one of them is called the Loveless Hunter, I guess. And that's a full size knife. And then there's this thing called the Bobcat Hunter, which is just a shrunk down version. And I was perusing a site and I found a Bobcat that I liked. I know it's 154 CM. That's not my favorite steel, but it's it performs well. Came kind of dull. The edge towards the tip. Couldn't really decide which way it was going to go. To clean up the edge, I used the Spyderco Sharp Maker with diamond rods, and I put a 15 degree edge on it. It had kind of a pointy guard, so I ground that down. This angle on the back favored one side. It was cockeyed. So that took some time on the grinder to clean up and get things nice and straight. But other than that, for a $300 knife, I forget what it, you know, let's say that. It's okay. It's okay if you just want to have it on a countertop and never carry it. If you want to carry this, then you get to carry it in this piece of shit. If you're going to have a knife company and you're going to try and make a really nice knife, one that is a classic design by one of the most influential makers to ever grace this earth, Bob Loveless, and you make a knife like this, which is clearly a Bob Loveless drop point hunter, then put it in a pouch sheath, the only kind of sheath that Bob Loveless would have used. It's as if the guys at Bark River said, hmm, we've made this really classic knife. Let's put it in a piece of crap sheath. Let's make it unusable. Really, Bark River, do you have two different teams of people? You got the knife people and then the sheath people. Do they not talk to each other? Are there never conversations? Are you in the same room? Do you say, hey, what good sheath could we pair up with this Bob Loveless inspired knife? Ideas? Let's kick it around. Clearly not. Here's the issue. Well, here's one of the issues. It's got these guys on it. They get in the way. Two. This. This. The hell is this? You know what that's there for? So if you can snap it, the snaps don't mar your handle. That That's what that's there for. Okay? So you put the knife in this little thing. Oh. Now we have to secure it. So we have to bring up said flap and then try and snap this. Now, for all of you guys who commented on my YouTube short, oh, you might just have to stretch it out and that sort of thing. Look at how far this can't go. The snaps don't even touch. You may or may not be able to see that. There's no way. A gorilla couldn't do that. Tiny handle. Not even close. There. Your standard number two pencil. Ah. It just snaps. Look at that. Mike Stewart needs to shut the place down, 
find out who's in there thinking I can send stuff out the door that's marginal, out you go. Or maybe he's okay with that. Just crank stuff out. Let's just have volume. I don't know. I've never been there. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I have met Mike Stewart 30 years ago. He said something to me, cracked me up at a SHOT Show. I can't share it with you. He's the captain of the ship, so he allows this to go out. Who has a belt this big? You want this flopping around? This isn't a dangler. What the hell is this? This little rivet. That holds this in place? Give me a freaking break. Pathetic. They even put their name on it. That means you're proud of it. You sign it, you're proud of it. You can't possibly be proud of this piece of shit. This is a waste of leather. This poor cow died to turn out to look like this. This is what this knife should be shipped with. Nothing else if you order a knife from Bark River and they send you something other than a pouch sheath. And I don't mean one of their pancake sheaths that they make. This is a taco sheath. One piece of leather goes around sewn to itself. From the comments that I've gotten from that YouTube short about this knife and the garbage sheath, I am not alone. There are so many people that are disappointed with the kind of quality that's coming out of Bark River that is rather embarrassing. Thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on Bark River, if you've ever purchased one. If you have one, if you're thinking about buying one, anything, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one.